Shortly after assuming the synagogue presidency in January 2020 and identifying a set of priorities, I began considering broad themes for this address. Julie and I had managed our way through many challenges in 2019, so it seemed quite natural that a discussion of this year's State of the Synagogue would touch on leading in times of change and transition and our culture. Last fall, we celebrated several lovely simchot, including four b'nai mitzvot. We dedicated a tree in our sukkah area in honor of Norma Lee Weinberg, and we had Sisterhood Shabbat to mark its 60th anniversary. To thank the police officers who provide security that enables us to pray in a safe environment, we observed Blue Shabbat. Simultaneously, we recognized Alan Smason for his media coverage of Shir Chadash. We also hosted a joint Purim event. None of us could have anticipated the past six months and its challenges. Since our lives started changing unexpectedly in mid-March, the synagogue has been here for you and to support the community. Our professional staff immediately developed and began providing various remote ritual services. We moved Shul School online, created an appropriate religious school curriculum for our youth, and held an online graduation ceremony. Rabbi Silver continued to offer stimulating classes and programming virtually. Board members and others have stayed in touch with our congregants in various ways, extending a hand if needed through our volunteer support team. Life cycle events have taken place consistent with social distancing. We implemented technology enhancements, and for the first time in our history, we are broadcasting this year's High Holy Day services online, so members can enjoy an uplifting experience in the comfort and safety of their homes. And finally, we have reimagined a meaningful and spirited High Holy Day season. Several critical components underpin a synagogue's success, including its people, its infrastructure, its governance, and its finances. Let me provide a glimpse into each and a status report, concluding with a look ahead to the coming year. Our people are the essence of who we are and what makes Shir Chadash an inclusive, nurturing, warm, and caring environment. We are blessed with top talent. It begins with our gifted and inspiring spiritual leader and teacher, Rabbi Silver, our energetic and pragmatic executive director, Ricardo Tota, our warm and friendly office assistant, Sarah Lustig, and our unique and creative interim education director, Meryl Zimmerman, all of whom are supported by our hardworking building maintenance staff of Shanti Boykins and Irvin Thomas. I appreciate what each of you does for this synagogue, particularly during this pandemic. During these unprecedented times, our officers and board members have demonstrated their resilience and commitment to this community. I am proud to work alongside a dedicated and conscientious team and thank them for their service. Our staff, together with our lay leaders, are focused on doing what needs to be done every day to serve congregant needs and to provide spiritually uplifting Jewish experiences. In addition to every congregant who volunteers his or her time, please accept my sincere thanks. It is deeply appreciated and does not go unnoticed. The strength and viability of a community is dependent upon growing its membership. All in all, our membership numbers have held up and are stable compared to last year. One of the best ways to attract new members is through current members. You are ambassadors for this synagogue, spreading the word of what we have to offer to those who are looking to join a Jewish spiritual home. Without your participation, there is no Shir Chadash. Our building should be an inviting and safe environment, a holy space for all to enjoy prayer, learning, and life cycle events. This year, we made upgrades to the building and its grounds and security enhancements. In addition, we participated in a comprehensive physical security risk assessment conducted by a group that specializes in Jewish institutional security. They provided recommendations to improve the safety, security, and preparedness of our synagogue. Eventual funding from a federal grant will enable us to improve our infrastructure consistent with the findings from the security audit. 
Coupled with growing its membership, financial health is key to an organization's future. We worked hard this year to shore up our synagogue's finances and ended the fiscal year on June 30th with a surplus. It was achieved through your generosity, Ricardo's fiscal prudence, and the sheer determination of our financial secretary, Andrea Rubin. The synagogue board takes its financial obligations seriously. Its fiduciary responsibilities are key. Despite careful fiscal management and oversight, the pandemic has created a financial strain on the synagogue's budget, and we need your help. Many congregants have affirmed their commitment to Shir Hadash and the Jewish future of our community by promptly paying their dues. Thank you. It is deeply appreciated. You realize the vitality and health of Shir Hadash requires all of us to step up our efforts during challenging times so that we can continue to provide high quality services and programs that enrich your lives and in turn, your children's lives and your grandchildren's lives. Everyone contributing and doing their part will ensure we achieve our full potential as a synagogue in the long run. Our investment committee has begun to meet regularly and brief the board. They are providing oversight for our investments, which is imperative in this time of heightened market volatility. In 1960, the Conservative Congregation of New Orleans came into being, and on Slichot night of that year, held its first service in its newly renovated sanctuary. For 60 years, Shir Hadash has been a pillar of the greater New Orleans Jewish community, rooted in tradition, yet open to innovation. We are a dynamic and vibrant synagogue with a promising future. As a congregation, we are as meaningful and relevant today as ever. Looking ahead, we hope you will join us for an exciting virtual fundraiser on January 31st, 2021 to celebrate our 60th anniversary, a truly enviable milestone. As we begin our 61st year, we look to undertake a number of important initiatives. For example, it's opportune to engage in strategic planning to ensure we have the building blocks in place for a solid future. Our membership committee will focus on the needs of current members and outreach, looking for new opportunities to grow. We welcome your suggestions to enhance our reach in the community. We will continue to work through the recommendations of our sustainability and Lou Dorfman's assessment study, looking for ways to grow revenues, drive down costs, and streamline our operations to increase effectiveness and efficiency. For example, while focusing on our current financial picture, why not explore legacy funding as a vehicle to take us another 60 years? These past few months have been challenging. However, I couldn't be prouder of how everyone has worked hard to make us a Kahila Kadosha, a holy, special, and sacred community. Rabbi Silver has mentioned to me that several of our youth are in the preparatory stages of B'nai Mitzvah, a promising sign for the next generation of Shir Chadash. Hopefully, one year from now, we will be back in this magnificent sanctuary in a large gathering for the high holy days. May we as a strong and flourishing community have the courage strength, and ingenuity to embrace this time of change, reaping opportunity and growth. We need each other now more than ever. So let's keep reaching out to each other, checking on each other, helping each other through this unprecedented experience and supporting Shir Hadash. Thank you for the opportunity, the privilege, and the honor to serve this outstanding community. May you, may we be inscribed and sealed in the book of life for a good year. Thank you.